Hello and welcome back to the second half of a double header tonight between the Charlotte Shipwreck and the Georgia Greyhounds. We are playing in Georgia. Last game, the Shipwreck took it 6 1 with Birdo XD and Clifford combining for six goals. Both of them getting in on each of those goals. Puck drop just a few moments away here. Greyhounds will look to improve upon the little bit of life that they saw towards the latter half of the first game. Cookie Monster sort of sharpened up. Their line changes became a lot smoother. Their passes started connecting. They'll hope to carry it through. But they have 15 minutes of ice hockey to prove that they are good enough to compete with a full shipwreck team. As Cryptiv against Birdo on the faceoff, Birdo wins it for Clifford, pass straight back to Birdo. Now Birdo with a rare, rare whiff at that as he banks it off the board for himself, pass. The fake pass. How do you even do that? That is just Birdo XD playing out of his mind. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Right out the gate again. Of course, the shipwreck score with a goal coming from Birdo and an assist from Clifford. Not unlike we saw in the first game. And Clifford feeds him. He goes in. Whiffs on the shot. You're right, a rare whiff. Banks it off the corner. Puts it to the right side of Cookie Monster. As they'll try the same play again here as Birdo walking in, and that one off the post and in. That's two in just four seconds for Birdo XD. Leopard's going to end up with the most assists on the season at this rate. That's he has true, like seven in the, in the last two games, and this game's only 13 seconds in. Already has two. XIE Phantom just sitting and watching here. Racking well up the plus the minus. <laughs> yeah. Pull out the popcorners. It looks like they'll finally try a different faceoff play, but never doesn't matter as Cryptic wins it in. Shot rebound. Puts it wide. Throws the one in front. Now gets it in front as Frank throws another shot on. Also wide. As now here's Cryptiv. Gets the puck into the middle, but only to find XIE Phantom. Now Frank dumps it in. Cryptiv looking for a shot off the post. Rebound glove by Mitch Meemaner, and he'll hold on for a faceoff. Couple good chances here from the Greyhounds early. Only one shot registered. They've already, I think, have counted five shot attempts and only one. Shot as Crypt wins it back for Frank, blocked by Birdo, and he'll start out. But Frank, nice turnaround, gets it back into the zone. Now here's Phantom. We'll look to Birdo, but it was a bit too close to Cryptiv as he'll try to get a shot on, blocked by Birdo. Looking across for Clifford. Couldn't corral that puck. We'll elect to dump it in. Now a weak pass to Birdo. Cryptiv will intercept, and he'll play it out. Over for Frank. Frank will dump him. And we'll give a short chase. Dumps in and the line changes. Penley and Grimace now on the ice. As now Phantom throws one over for Tango. Tango over skated the puck. Now corrals it into the center. But Penley, nice job to cut that one out. As now Penley stopped at the line by BTG. Grimace now trying to get the puck out. Tango in front. Frank clears it right back to the boards as Cookie Monster will grab that puck. Plays it up for Grimace. Blocks the shot of BTG. And now will cycle around to the other side and cycles back. Here's Grimace. Gets the puck out to Penley. Is now Penley a partial break here? Penley walking in and Mitch Niemaner sliding to his right. will hold on to that one for a face-up. Wow. What a save here from Mimaner. Another breakaway. Penley robbed as he shoots it to the 
left side of Neiman or where he isn't and he slides over at that last last second there. Almost makes it look routine there. As now penalty a sharp angle shot on off the side of the net. Neiman drops it for Tango. As now Penley pressuring Neiman again will get the face off. And will a line change? Cryptive coming onto the ice. Cryptiv demands the face off. Sounds to see me Grimace behind him. Cryptive against Birdo. Birdo wins it, but Grimace gets a shot on, saved by Mimener. Now here's Phantom up for Clifford. Can't get it to Birdo, but now he does. Birdo trying to walk in. Deke saved by Cookie Monster. Yet again, we've called his name a bunch through both games tonight, and we'll call it a bunch more. Yeah, Berto using the fourth teammate on the ice, the wall, the boards there, passes it to himself, dimes himself, and it's a shot off, but Cookie Monster. Now sent one to Clifford, can't do it, and now Cryptive will advance up. Here's Cryptive, wide. Now Berto trying to get a bank pass for Clifford. Now he sends it up, but Frank keeps him at bay. Now Clifford in front, only to find Cryptive. Phantom stealing that puck. And now here's Birdo off the boards. Two on one. And now Penley hops on to make it a two on two. And now Cryptive going the other way. Shot saved by Mimner. Put it right at his pads. As now here's Penley in again. Penley shoots and he scores. It's two one shipwreck. As Penley takes advantage of the rebound. Slides that one in. Short side on Mimener. Yeah, that puck leaves the zone and then Penley stops it, brings it back, gets past Clifford and puts it far side on Mimener. And then he goes and haunts the, the uh, shipwreck bench on the celebration there. Down at ice level. Jets 23. What are your thoughts on tonight's rosters? Let's get a head-to-head matchup. -head well, obviously Greyhounds uh, being down two guys, or more than two guys, is not great. Uh, sorry to uh, interrupt. Here is McChicken walking in. Shot safe. Rebound. We'll look for another shot. Glove. Bye. Sorry, Jets. Continue. Uh, but you know what? They actually, uh, I think the, the Greyhounds actually had a pretty decent fight. I don't think the Shipwreck's second line has been very good compared to the rest of the Greyhounds uh, lineup so far. We'll see if they can improve on that as they do. Tengo, a one-timer off the face-off from McChicken. How's the that first... kiss of death right there? Yeah, their second line isn't that good, huh? <laughs> Take a look at that replay. I think they heard you there. Hot oh, Mike. So right off the face-off, McChicken's gonna win it to his back left and Tape to tape, Tango with a one-timer sends it to the left of Cookie. The right. As some would say, Jets 23 gives the Greyhound, or the Shipwreck, sorry, an advantage. As now a weird bouncing puck ends up finding Mitch Mimener, who plays it out Tango, as the third goal scorer will dump out. Here's Penley, evaluating his options. He's got two of them. He likes to pass, and a shot from Cryptid. Easy save by Mimener. Now BTG puck to the corner. Cryptid throws one in front. Penley looking for a shot. Locked, as now here's Tango cutting in, but Frank hopping onto the bench. Now here's Penley. He's slow, but he'll try to make the most of it as he passes to Cryptiv and throws one on off the post. Mimener turns around and grabs that. A good chance there. As now here's Birdo coming the other way. Here's Birdo around Grimace. Grimace is able to spin and recover. As now here's Birdo again, blocked by Frank, and Cookie gets the glove on that. You gotta thank Frank there. The Greyhounds have been setting up some pretty good passing plays, and Cryptiv is struggling to hit the back of the net. 
constantly putting it right to the chest of Mimener. As now here's Birdo trying to get around Cookie Monster, but this time he grabs it. He's not letting him score another one of those goals. As now Birdo in the neutral zone around Grimace, around Frank, to the net, goal! That's probably one of the best goals we've seen from him all night. That's his hat trick of the night. Effort. Solo effort, steals that puck at the blue line, retreats back all the way to his own blue line, around each player and around the goalie. That's a highlight reel goal right there. You know they'll be playing that one in the intro next game. Yeah. At what point you start feeling bad for Cookie Monster, who has had, a, I think, a really good bounce back at the end of the last game and a decent start to this game. But, I mean, well, I mean, not really. I mean... He hasn't had a chance on any of the shots, to be honest. Just I think, yeah, so it's a do. tough one. It's a it's a real tough one. As Birdo, that or that one, Birdo's just simply better. Is now a great passing play here. Birdo walking in, but Grimace gets his tape to it. As now Birdo in front for Clifford, and a nice one-timer goal there. Another goal by either. Birdo or Clifford assisted by the other one. Just 1.5 left to go in the first there. A buzzer beater. Grimace had a great back check on that. He sent it to the corner. But then there were no Greyhounds to protect the middle. They all collapsed to the, the bench side and left Clifford wide open. He took his time there to pick that corner. It's an interesting situation here with the Greyhounds, because you look at their two main, their three, sorry, excuse me, their three main rookie prospects. You've got Penley, Grimace, and I Sky Wars, who have all proven to be major parts of this team. You look at Penley, first overall pick. He's a great player in his own right. Then you look at I Sky Wars, third overall, and he's proven he's not uh, the most active player and he's truly just hasn't met expectations for a third overall pick when, when you look at Clifford he was picked fourth overall and you could have got him instead of I Sky Wars and then you will look at Grimace late second round pick and hasn't he been good he's a great two way player good in both ends throws some good passes on and he already looks like he has that veteran two way sense that a lot of players miss in their rookie season. As we'll get started straight away with the second intermission, Cryptid wins the draw, can't get past XIE Phantom, who will dump ahead. Now Cryptid again, stolen by Birdo. Over to Clifford, who throws one on, and gloved by Monster. And uh, that's a beautiful play there, too, for Birdo being able to see Clifford across ice. Great he's save. got the best awareness, he's got the best hands, and he's arguably got the best shot as now here's Cryptiv off the draw, cutting around all three players, but it's blocked by Aloydia, who has been subbed in by Mitch Wiemener. As Shipwreck ahead in this one. Let's his backup get some time. As now here's Birdo off the draw, trying to get by Frank. He does. Now Grimace can't get to it, and Cookie Monster makes an easy save as he had one lane to shoot. As we'll get a face off here, as Crypto will win it forward. Phantom stealing it right back. Phantom advances in, and now Frank can't get by Birdo, keeps it in at the line. Birdo looking in front for Clifford, will elect to take it back, now gets it around Frank, but Crypto sends them into the corner, Is now he throws one up for Clifford in front for Birdo, but Cookie puts a glove on that and stops the play. And it also makes you wonder here, like you look at Eloidia, who's having to play behind a very, very reliable goaltender in Mitch Beamer. He just really hasn't 
had much of an opportunity to show the impact. Just Clifford, a one-timer, go up and draw 6-1. Shipwreck. And interestingly, Frank teleports to the bench right before this goal, leaving Cryptiv as the only player on the ice when this puck goes in. Frank tries to hop back on, but that's just it's too late. And an easy goal for Clifford is second of the night. No one covering him. Frank trying to avoid the minus. <laughs> well, he he As probably got a minus on that because he hopped on at the last second. Well, <clears throat> doesn't make a huge difference as they're already down 6-1. Now Look up out. for Penley. Penley a breakaway. Coming in. Shot. Scores. It's now 6-2. Forehand, backhand, forehand. Nice goal. As we'll throw it to Jess 23. What are your thoughts on this game so far? Um, I think I just, I think Dre Allen need to stop the bleeding now. I mean, the second goal is nice, but they need to stop the bleeding. Uh, I don't know what Frank's doing. But I think it's already bad enough. As we'll get back underway here. Here's the shipwreck looking to get out of their own zone. Tango over for BTG off the glass. Now here's McChicken cutting in. McChicken looking in front for Tango. They'll elect to retreat back. Here's BTG in his own end. Couldn't get by Penley who keeps the puck on the goal line. Now here's Penley. Tries to throw a shot on. Fanned on it as Greyhounds hmm, veer it. Has logged on. We'll see if he'll get any ice time to end out this game. Kind of assume he's going to. As now here's BTG. Taking his time with this one. <laughs> now we'll throw it up for Birdo. Now here's Birdo. Through the neutral zone. Frank gets his stick to it. Now sends it up for Penley. Would have had a breakaway, but he was slow. So it doesn't matter in the end. As now here's Birdo over for Clifford. Too many. That's too Clifford many men. Clifford throws one on, but that was too many men. So they get they get a another player to join, and immediately their line changing system falls apart. So we'll have an end zone, um, an end zone face off here. And the Greyhounds will actually looks like they're gonna put three players out. Well, a few times that's happened tonight. Uh, almost halfway done in the second half of this game is Birdo throws one at Clifford. And get a shot off as Cryptiv sends the puck out, but Phantom brings it right back in. Now here's Birdo looking for a shot, can't get it as Frank will send it up to Cryptiv. Now here's Cryptiv. And Clifford. Clifford throws it in front. No one was home. It's Verit sends one up. Cryptiv can't get his stick to it. Now here's Frank up for Cryptiv. Now here's Cryptiv coming in into the slot. Clifford in his own zone. Up for Birdo. Birdo. Partial break, but he took it to the side. As now Clifford looking for a shot. Can't get it as Frank dumps out. XIE Phantom for the shipwreck. Roberto XD. Passes to no one and a bit of a miscommunication there. The Greyhounds had one of their own as Frank sends it up to Cryptiv now. Phantom looking for McChicken off the bench, but Tango a nice bat. It's uh, the puck out of the air. Good play here as Grimace cuts in front, but Tango gets to stick to it. Puck exits the zone. It's offside. They don't realize, however, but now they manage to tag up. As Tengo looking up ice, Penley hops onto the ice to steal that puck and gives it up for Grimace. 
BTG will dump back. Penley throws a sharp angle shot on. Saved by Mimir. Now Penley. Behind the net. Looking for Grimace, but Tango, again, displaying his excellent hand eyes. Now a breakaway for McChicken. Puts it right to the pads of Cookie Monster. Another shot. That one gets blocked and cleared by Grimace. As Grimace, a giveaway to Tango. He will walk in. Tango pass back, but Penley takes advantage of that. And he will move up. Penley cutting in over the head of Aloydia, and he's got a hat trick. It's 6-3. Yeah, BTG. The last man back for the shipwreck, and Penley gets around him. Takes the shot just above the face-off circle. Hat-trick goal for him. Fortunately for the Greyhounds, a little bit late into this game. They still are three goals down with 25 seconds to go here. And the second, I'd add, not the third. There is still time. There's plenty of time left here as Penley will cut in off the draw again. Now Penley will go around the net. Pressured by Clifford. Penley looking in front for Virid. Can't find it. Now here's Penley again into the slot, but very could get it at a miscommunication. Another there, too many men. Too many men on the ice, but it doesn't matter as Berto has possession. Shot rebound saved by Cookie Monster. And that is saved there to end the period out. It was a too many men called the the Greyhounds against the Greyhounds. But it didn't matter as Birdo had the puck on a breakaway, so they didn't blow it dead. Jets, what are your thoughts of this game so far? Um, I thought that Cookie Monsters bounced back really well as he did in the last game. And Penley again showing surprisingly just how dominant he can be. Even though he really has not put too much practice in lately. I mean, still was that 11 goals in three games for him. Pretty impressive. Jets, what is the, um, how does it feel, you know, you, you and Birdo used to be line mates for, for what seems like decades, um, to see him and Clifford kind of putting up the same numbers that you did, just what does that, what does that look like from your point of view now? Um, it just goes to show how much not only putting a solid player with Birdo brings out the best in Birdo, but brings out the best in that player. No matter who you can slot a reliable player beside Birdo, both the best in both the, sorry, the best in both players is going to come out. And we're seeing it here early in the season by you put Clifford on Birdo's wing and they're both dominating right now. It'll be interesting to see what uh, Clifford can do more without Birdo and vice versa as the season goes on. If it comes to that. And Birdo's not able to make every single game, so we'll have to keep an eye out for when Clifford's playing without Birdo to see if he is up to the same level of play that we've seen in these two games. Yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, he was good in the games against the Blizzard early on. I believe their first two games, I don't know how many points he put up, but they won both of them, I believe, and he was good. It was, uh, it did end up only being one game. Oh, that's right. Is that but the one that... Yes, that is okay. the one where he put up uh, a hat-trick and an assist, actually. Oh, okay. That game. Greyhounds have another player now. They're still down one, but they have five minutes to net three or more. Doable, definitely. 
definitely doable. Definitely doable. As they have four people on the ice right now. Jared <laughs> will hop off just in time, but Cryptiv. Oh no. Controller disconnected, and so did Cookie Monsters. And Clifford will take that one for a hat trick of his own. Assisted by Berto yet again. That's the easy school you're going to get. An AFK. An AFK center and an AFK goalie. Yep. Well, that's going to hurt the Greyhounds' chances of coming back in this one as they're down by four now. Still have five minutes to play here. See if they're ready on this next faceoff. As they will be as Crip wins it. Phantom trying to send it the other way. Frank dumps in. Now Phantom. We need to set up here as Grimace cutting in. Gets the block on. Gives it away to Birdo, though. That's one player you don't want to give it away to as he'll send it up for Clifford. Clifford along the wing. Throws it to Birdo. Birdo shot saved by Cookie Monster. Just gets a toe on it there. As now here's Birdo. Fighting for the puck but can't come up with it. As now Grimace cutting in past Phantom who dangerously puts one off the outside post. He's... That's ended in an own goal before for him. He doesn't want another one. And now here's Cryptiv. Cryptiv gets the puck in. But Clifford takes it to the side. Now here's Phantom. Stolen by Cryptiv in front for Grimace. Pass was a little bit too hot for him to handle. Now Phantom gives it a little bit too far ahead as Birdo is slow. Wait, and we'll go around Frank. But here, Penley will take a hold of it. Penley. Cutting through all the shipwreck puck to the net and a goal. An amazing solo effort goal from Penley. Penley gets around everyone. Penley cuts to the net and Penley scores that. Yeah, me, uh, Aloidia here is going to give up a juicy rebound, which allows Penley to put that past him into the net. Once again, Greyhound's down by three, with three and a half left in this game. See if Penley can get the next three, as he's got the last four for the Greyhounds. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen someone get seven points in a game, as now Penley... Wheeling and dealing through the neutral zone. Past one, past two, past three. Shot saved and gloved by Aloidia. Penley doing Penley things now. Finally, we didn't see much of this in the first game. But here, late into the third, we're seeing a lot of Penley. Shipwreck are going to keep their second line out there. That's what he does against the best teams in the league and he's finally doing it against the shipwreck as now here's Penley cutting through the neutral zone yet again Tango sends it the other way period trying to pressure McChicken as Puck's set in front Penley grabs a hold of that one now here's Penley cutting up the right side gets it into the zone Tango will get the puck out but over skates it in the neutral zone. Now Tango turning on it. Grimace sends it up to Penley. Now Penley, he was slow, couldn't get a shot off. And now here's BTG. Shoots it right at Penley. Good pressure. BTG needs now, to go for a change here soon. And so does Penley. He's majorly slow. Penley and struggling now, to get back to the bench. Here's Birdo Exhausted. trying to get it to Clifford. Can't do so. Frank up for Grimace. Now here's Grimace coming in. Grimace, a shot saved by Aloidia and gloves down. Yeah, the Greyhounds, they get these chances, but then they just shoot it right onto the chest of the goaltender. I think probably in practice they need to work on, on picking those corners, aiming these shots. 
As Britta will win the draw, and Frank steps on the puck. Now Grimace. Good job to get the puck in, but Britto sends it right back out and up for Clifford. Frank sends it into the corner. Now here's Cryptiv around Birdo. Cryptiv cutting through the center. And he'll get the puck in. Looking for a shot but can't find the angle is Phantom up for Clifford. Here's Clifford throws a long one on and he scores it. A bad mistake from Cookie Monster. Ends up costing them a goal. As the away team will call a timeout here. Probably just wanting to rest up their best players so that they can stay out. Yeah, and then Clifford just Steal completely the takes um, Cookie Monster off guard here. No one is expecting Clifford to take this shot from outside the blue line. Closer to the red line than it is the blue line. As Clifford for Berto, this is the play they've done all night, but Frank denies this opportunity and will clear the puck out. Now here's Berto. Berto cutting in. Someone broke their stick. It was Penley. As now here's a shot off the post. Cookie grabs that and will play it. Now Penley. Stolen again by Berto in front for Clifford. Just disconnected right there. Had plenty of time to make a shot. As now here's Penley cutting around a shot. Rebound. Gloved down by Aloydia, who will elect to hold it. And just before that, Penley, you see, goes to the bench, breaks his stick, leaving the Greyhounds outnumbered, and Birdo just rings that one off the right post. So we're going to face off with just under a minute left here. Penley in the corner in front for Grimace. Shot denied by XIE Phantom, who got his stick on it. Grimace still looking for his first goal of his career, if I believe, believe if my stats are correct. As now here's Penley turning. Clifford dumps out, and Frank dumps right back in. Now here's Phantom. Good pressure by Penley, but a lady will smartly put a glove on that one with Exactly 30 seconds remaining. As we've got a bit of a hot mic here by the shipwreck starting goaltender on the bench right now. As Penley will win a draw. Cryptive a shot. There's a goal. 8-5 with 28.6 to go. Another face-off goal. We see a lot of these. Demon or, or Aloidia, excuse me, um, just can't get over in time. He does shift, he does uh, uh, sneak over, but not quick enough as Cryptiv from the high slot comes down and takes that slap shot. As Jets, what did you hear from Miminer on that play? Um, just saying to keep keep up his play there just to hang in there you know only 20 seconds left i'll let you call it actually it's kind of more important as now here's with 17 seconds left mcchick too many up. frank on the bench again another too many men call that's the second time that exact play has happened there's now 12.3 seconds left Looks like the shipwreck are going to take this one. The question is, will the Greyhounds be able to punch in another one? As Cryptid will win the draw for Penley. But Tango will send it out of play. The Greyhounds will get an outside face-off this time. Just 9.3 seconds left. Brito will win the draw and brings the puck in. Over for McChicken. Can't get a shot off. Now Grimace sends it up at Tango. A nice move there, cutting in past the Birdo glove down by Cookie Monster. That will do it for game two. 8-5, the final in Georgia. Shots yet again, only one shot difference. Interesting how that's happened both games. The Greyhounds put up a better effort, but it wasn't enough. 
Yeah, the Greyhounds definitely stayed in there in the shot tally in both games. Um, but the Shipwreck goaltender able to outperform the offense of the Greyhounds. This time letting up four more goals than the previous game. Oh, thanks for hanging around. We tonight. will be right back with some interviews, so hang tight. We'll be right back. Stick around for LHB Central. And welcome back to the post-game show tonight as the Shipwreck come up with both games against the Georgia Greyhounds. We'll start by our very own Jets23, giving a couple questions to Clifford and Mitch Meemaner before opening up the floor to some of your questions. Jets, take it away. Uh, all right, for uh, Meemaner. Uh, they say you have to be lucky to be good and good to be lucky. Um Obviously, you made some really good saves in your first game tonight, but getting some luck from the post, too. How do you feel about your game and how your performance has gone so far this season, based on that? I don't think it has anything to do with luck, to be entirely honest with you. <clears throat> I know how I have to play. Um, obviously, got over 10 goals in two games from my offense right here, so I don't really care about luck. But uh, I think my performance has been pretty good recently. All right. And about that scoring, all the scoring you're getting, um, do you really, do you think you can expect to see that scoring continue all season? Because... Repeat that. Can you repeat that, please? I didn't hear you. Do you think you can, your team can keep up the high scoring all season? I mean, your second line didn't have a great night on the plus minus count and giving up five goals against a very shorthanded team, you can't expect to get eight, eight every night, can you? Obviously not. I think we have some adjustments to make, but um, we have two of the best goal scorers in the league. I think if they just keep playing the way they are, we should be fine. Just a few adjustments we got to make for our second line guys to get them going. Um, I don't think they had that bad of a game. Just a few things they need to work on. All right, and that's going, right. going to your point, going to your point about being able to score like this all season. Obviously, we know we're not going to have to. We know we're not going to be able to always get eight goals in a game. So, obviously, we're going to have to tighten up our defense. All right, and uh, I got one for Clifford. Uh, Clifford, yeah, I asked this uh, similar question to Berto uh, in one of the intermissions about you. But how? What is it you think it's doing for your confidence and for your game? playing alongside someone we like Birdo and seeing the points flow so early on in your career. Um, yeah, um, it's been great. I think that the chemistry has definitely been building since, uh, since we first played and I think it's going to continue to grow and yeah, uh, I think we're doing really good out there and we just got to keep it up. All right, perfect. That's, uh, that's enough. All the questions I have. Anyone else have any questions for Meeman or Clifford? Thanks. We'll open up the floor to your questions. If you have a question, please let us know in game. If you have a question, please keep it short and please direct it to either Clifford, Meeman, or both.
thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. And that will do it for now. Thanks for tuning in on LHB Network. We... Sorry. The Shipwreck take both of these games tonight in a big fashion. Scoring 14 goals through just two games. Clifford and Birdo scoring all but one of those 14. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you short sometime within the next week for aviators at drought and more thanks for joining us i've been exon toast joined by flashy and jets we'll see you next time on lhb network and wish me luck at the national